is about forgiveness. It's about forgiveness, even if, even if she doesn't love you anymore. What is it about forgiveness? Why is it so hard to just say, I'm sorry? Why do we carry grudges and resentment for 10 years, 15 years, 40 years? I'm mad at people and I can't remember why. Why do we do that? It rips us up emotionally, physically. It destroys families, relationships. Some people move out of town because of resentment. Get over it. It's not that tough. We just do it. And here's a cool thing. See, the day after you die, too late. <laughs> Why not get over it before? Let me tell you the Maggie story. Maggie was my high school sweetheart. Beautiful, smart, president of the school. Came from a really nice family. A goody two-shoes. Unfortunately, I was 18 and a football player, and I wasn't, uh, I had hormone issues. <laughs> we went to Mammoth, ski trip. I went up the mountain with Maggie. I came home with Andrea. <laughs> Not quite so nice. But I hurt Maggie. I hurt Glenn. I hurt the school's reputation. And I felt horrible. Fifteen years I carried that. Until she came into my restaurant one day with some friends. And I'm sitting there across from Maggie, my Maggie, alone. And I said, Maggie, I just want you to know how sorry I am that I hurt you. And I had just never forgiven myself for being such a pig. And she's, oh, Glenn, that was high school. Who cares? I care. And if there was one weekend I could relive in my life, it would be that weekend. I'm that sorry. Oh, Glenn, please. I got a letter from Maggie. Three days later, that ripped my heart out. And it just read, You'll never know what that letter meant to me. I didn't know how much you cared for me and how much you loved me. I could feel a self-confidence in that letter. I could feel a freedom. I could feel a peace. Because I just said I was sorry. Now, she could have just reversed it and said, you know what, Glenn, seriously, you are a pig. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. See, the day after I die, too late, who cares? Pig or not, I felt better, and it was the right thing to do. Who do you hold in a grudge? Who do you need to say you're sorry to? A sister from 20 years ago? Just tell her she was right. Who cares? And she can say, you blew it. Who cares? Free yourself. Get over it. Just get over it. For me, there was a time that I had a real big resentment to God. See, God took my father when I was four years old. I have two older brothers. My mom is only 27 years old. And God took my mom or my father away. And I was mad at God. So what did I do? I took my father and said, he's my new God. See, when you're four and your father dies, you think you did something wrong. <coughs> so I put him on a pedestal. And I did everything the right way so I could please my dad. Why? Because I didn't want my dad to go away again. But after lots of therapy, <laughs> lots of therapy, I realized 
that I put all this anger towards my God. And I had to figure out a way in all of my arrogance to say, hey, God, I'm really sorry. Will you forgive me? One day I'll understand why you took my father. But please forgive me. Because I hear that's what you do. How freeing is it to have my God back and my dad back and neither of them will leave me? Pretty cool stuff. I encourage you to really think back. I had a friend of mine, we up in a restaurant together back in the early 80s. He bezeled for me. He was a thief. I hated him. So I called him up and I said, Clay, it's been 30 years. I want you to know I'm responsible for blowing that restaurant up. It was all my fault. I take all responsibility. He goes, well, if you think about it, Glenn, we both partied too hard. We both spent too much money. We both did too many drugs. I think we kind of blew it up together. Ooh, ouch. But you know what? We're buddies again today. So my comment to you, who do you need to forgive for them and for yourself? It's about forgiveness. Even if, even if she don't love you anymore. Mr. Toastmaster.